hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Beth as you can see today's video is going to be some festival inspiration from boohoo <laughs> haven't actually looked at everything that I bought they're all in the bag still and this one I am not gonna lie a lot of stuff is out of stock it is Everyone is buying stuff constantly and every time I go on the websites, they're all out of stock. So I've tried to put together a few things. There's some stuff that is out of my comfort zone. But that's completely fine because, yeah, why not? Jump out of your comfort zone, you know. Before we get into this video, I'd just like to put a little disclaimer out there. I have two big bruises on both my forearm. Is that a forearm? My biceps. Um... It's been well over a week now and they are still very visible. I've put fake tan on, it hasn't actually developed yet, but um, there's nothing really I can do about it. That's why I didn't post a video last week. Um, it's not that I'm going through anything that's very serious, it's just an incident that happened in work. Obviously I'm a, social, a support worker slash carer and these things happen. So, yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. Obviously, festival outfits are not going to be completely covered, so you're going to see them. And I didn't want anyone just to sit there watching it like, girl, are you going to come on camera and not explain anything? It's nothing too serious, and I, I was going to wait until the bruises go, but I didn't put a video last week, and I was really, like, I was gutted by it. So I thought, it's just, it's life. It's going to have to happen. I want to put content out, and that's just the way that this this week is gonna go. I'm not gonna sit here and not put a video out because I want to. Let's get into it. I'm gonna try everything on. I'm gonna put all the links down below. Some of the stuff I have sized up only because I haven't bought from Boohoo for a long time, but it's not because of that. It's because they didn't have my sizes in. So there's some stuff that I bought like size 16 and etc. You can kind of get the gist of the looks that I'm going for. So yeah, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show everything and then show a try on clip with them in. Or shall I try them on as we go through? Stuff it. Let's just try them on as we go through. I don't actually have any festivals booked this year. I do enjoy music and I do enjoy going to raves, etc. like that. But I haven't been in such a long, long time that, if I'm honest, I'd rather just book a holiday and go on holiday. But then, a lot of these outfits, they are very out there. I feel that you could dress these down or dress these up and take them on holiday with you for certain things. You know, if you're going on a girls' holiday or if you're going to like Magaloo Sante or Ibiza or something like that, I think these would be really nice as well. I picked this forward knitted set up. I think these would look so beautiful with a nice pair of chunky boots and some nice accessories. They do this in two different colourways. So I got this bralette is exactly the same as a bikini except for it is crocheted but i thought this was really nice they do this in a green as well they didn't have my size so i bought the bikini top in a medium and then i have got the skirt to go with i also bought this in a medium i think yeah and i think this would look so cute simple but effective they also do a cardigan that goes with this um, but I didn't pick that up because I, I couldn't find it on the website. I do really like the green one. I'll put a picture up of the green one. But I love purple too. Purple is one of my favourite colours. And I think this is really bright and nice to go out with. So let's try it on. Okay, I've got it on. Right then. I'm not really in camera view. But I've got it on and I love this. This is so nice. This is the skirt. This tie does actually work. It is see-through. I have got knickers on underneath but they are very like pink. I would 100% wear like bikini bottoms underneath the skirt. As it's crocheted you can obviously see through the little holes. It's just so nice. And I wish that I had picked the cardigan up to you could just chuck it on when you're a bit cold. I think this would be so nice for holidays as well. Absolutely gorgeous. But I wouldn't be 100% um, comfortable wearing this on its own. I think I would either have to put boob tape or maybe even another bikini, like a bikini top on underneath. It is, because it is only crochet, you know. It could just break. My boobs could just pop On to the next one. The next quad set that I picked up is not something that I would have picked up at, like, it's not something that I would have seen on the website and picked out. I thought this would be really nice 
on someone anyway. I got the shorts in a 14. They're this metallic. It says that they are lilac. But they look very silver. With some tassels on the bottom. And then a bralette to go with. And I think this would look really nice with a long black thin cardigan. I'm not gonna lie. And some black chunky boots. And I got the bralette. I think I got this a bit big as well. In... 16 but it's because they're, the, they're all sold out and i know i'm not a six size 16 but i just want to, i didn't want to buy the bottoms without the top i wanted to give you the whole look even though i haven't put shoes and stuff on with it so we'll try this on now the shorts are very stretchy this material is very it has a lot of give in it definitely don't size up when i tell you that i need to jump out of my comfort zone a lot more i mean it these are so nice. The shorts are very, they're, they're spacious. I wouldn't say they are um, massively too big on me. There's enough room to eat and drink a whole lot of crap in a festival. This bralette, I wouldn't say it's a 16. I literally put the shorts on and I was like, oh my God, no way. They fit me quite nice, actually. But the, the bralette has a lot of room on the sides. I've tied it up as tightly as I possibly could. Obviously the straps are a little bit loose because it is size 16, I'm not a size 16. If I was honest, I probably would have got a size 12 or even a 14 in this. But these shorts, I don't like the way they're baggy on me because it just doesn't give the vibe that I want. How nice. Cute. I think the outfit speaks for itself. I don't think you need that much more. Just chuck this on, chuck some boots on. I think a long black cardigan, literally like almost floor length for the evening gorgeous darling i know this isn't everybody's cup of tea it it wasn't my cup of tea until i put it on and i feel really confident in it and i'm actually pleasantly surprised so get yourself on boohoo and get yourself ordering some new clothes baby i've gone for something a bit more bright colorful i've gone for this unitard which is mesh oh i love it already got it in a 12 it's got this ring detail at the front. I would wear probably like a nice bralette and some high-waisted knickers under this. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I don't even think this was thumb. I think most of this stuff was in the sale. I think this would look so, so nice. You could dress this up, I think. You could dress it down. Let's try it on. Oh, let's go with the silver rings. Luke laughs at me every time I put these on. Anyway, I've just chucked on these high-waisted silky knickers from... Boohoo actually, bought them years ago. And this little bralette from Prima. If I had the confidence, I wouldn't wear a bralette underneath. I would literally just put some nipple covers on because the bralette is ruining it for me and it's just not giving me the vibe that I want. How nice is this? I don't need not wear the bralette because you have the ring detail. I find like, find like it's kind of ruining the whole vibe. I really like this. I do feel a little bit naked. They are quite short. Nice though, I like it. Bright, colourful, easy to chuck on, not too warm, very easy to move, comfortable. They've smashed it. I have not ordered from Boohoo and been this happy in a long time, even though I have nowhere to wear these clothes. I picked up these slinky cycling shorts. These are very out of my comfort zone. I bought them in a size 14 because they I think that was the last size there. They are baby pink, silky with these on the side. <laughs> I probably will be so embarrassed to put these on, but you've got to try. Oh, that's fab, isn't it? They sent me a top that you have to tie up, but I don't know how it goes, darling. It's silky again, so it's the same material. Got this in a size 12. I have picked up a few pair of jeans as well, because I think if you're going to a festival in England or Wales or in the UK, it's not always that hot. Fingers crossed that it will be. This next outfit I think is very out there for me. This top goes up and around the neck and then down and around the back. I actually don't have knickers on right now. And I feel like, because I've bought these in a size 14, they are very baggy on me. I would definitely get my real size. But I think, again, I said, I've already said that these were the only ones in stock. But I don't think they're supposed to come this high and I, Definitely, like, how do girls put these on without knickers? Someone tell me, because I don't know. But I would never, ever have thought to try these on, and I'm glad I have. That's, that's what goes through my head. Practicality. Will I be cold? Probably. 
Will I feel it after a few drinks? Probably not. The next two items are a jeans. Jeans and a top. I think this is such a nice outfit to go together. I ain't gonna lie. And I love, I'm always here for a crochet top. I got this in a size medium. Look how small that looks. I don't know how this does that. And then to go with, I picked up these jeans. I bought them in a size 12. Fingers crossed they fit. I haven't bought jeans in Boohoo ever. They are in these nice acid wash boyfriend jeans i want to say yeah boyfriend jeans and then they have this butterfly detailing on the bum i would never even dream of buying something with like graphic or embroidered designs on but i love this i think because it's like business in the front party in the back it'd be so cute for a festival and i think with a bit of glitter and your hair all nice and stuff how cute did this be that was really disgusting i just threw my nail on the floor because it's broken but i hope these fit let's show them on guys i'm actually mortified i cannot believe so i've got the top on the top's nice i would suggest boob tape this is the top i really like this i think this is so nice can we just take a second for how flat my ass looks in these jeans. <laughs> Look at that. I cannot even, no, not working. These jeans are 12 and I can do them up I think, but they are so, yeah I can. They are so tight on my bum that I can't even push my pockets in. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I've even got room. It's literally just my eyes. Anyway, enough of those. I, if I went up to a size 14, I know they wouldn't fit me around the waist. Okay. Let's do a lucky dip. Another pair of jeans. Okay, I got these in a 14. I think this is because there was no size 12 there. Ah! So these are the... Graffiti print ripped knee straight jeans, light wash. They're like this. This is one leg. They've got a heart face in pink. And then it says here, worldwide positive energies, good vibes. Cute. And then the other leg is another rip with flower, some sparkles, and a picture of the world. Lengthwise, they look quite long. I then picked up, I think I picked up a few tops to go with this. Saw this last minute on the website. Pink and orange, fluffy top with some sparkles. I might actually have to keep this for like a night out or something. It's not too fluffy, it's, but it's fluffy enough, you know? And then the back has got a zip and I got this in a size 10. Another two tops, I bought three different tops. I think it's because I bought a bando top that matched the cycling shorts, but I haven't tried them on, so it's okay. I'll just try them on with these jeans. This top I thought was so nice. I bought it in a size 14 because I think that was the last size and available they also have jeans to go with this how cute is this it's that she got a tie thing through the middle it's a denim it's literally like a patchwork denim top and i'm so here for it i love it and if i'm honest i think size 14 might be all right because it's not got that stretch either and then the last top i bought was this bando it's in a similar um it is a sip vet it's the same pattern as the other top that i put on with the shorts except for it's a bando ties at the back and it's got a butterfly on got it in a size 12 and i'm not gonna lie it looks very small for a size 12 let's try it on i'm not over the moon about the top i'm not you know like ecstatic about it it is really cute um the back detailing is really nice i think i'd need someone to pull me in so it sits nice because these are quite loose at the moment these jeans i got on very nice they are baggy on me all the way around but i quite like the way they fit they're not the best fitted jeans but i do always struggle with jeans so that's just the way that it works turn up the music turn down the lights here is the next top i love this i'm literally in love it is a bit baggy as it's a size 14 but because it doesn't have that stretch i did find it quite difficult to get into but i really like this i love the colors i love the way that it's cut it's so comfortable it is so smooth ah i wish i got the jeans i really wish i got the jeans to go with i love the colors it's so bright it's so summery they do look nice with these jeans because there's pink on the jeans but i'd rather this top with shorts denim shorts 
I really need to book a festival, don't I? Onto the fluffy top. Guys, I don't think you have a rare idea for this top. I got this in a size 10. It is a little bit itchy where the feathers are, but that's normal. I am expecting that. It's quite stretchy around the back. And look at this. You can take them off. Oh, there's feathers everywhere. You can take off these sparkly straps and it could just be a bandeau. Love it, it's so cool. I feel like my babies are in the seat, they're seat belted in and I don't feel like they're gonna go anywhere. I do feel like this is really, really nice top. It's a pop of color. It's got a little bit of sparkle as well to go with. If I was going to a festival and I was gonna wear this, I would take off these maybe. For a night out, I'd wear the straps and then for a festival, I would take it off and just wear it as a bandeau. I picked up a play suit something quick easy it's like you've woken up late in the festival check it on put on some accessories some boots bob's your uncle get out the door of the tent and go it's one of those ones that you tie around your boobs but i didn't think that it was going to be like that and i got a size 12 so it probably will be too big for me can we take a moment for these sleeves and even the pattern oh very easy outfit. I love the paisley pattern on it. Let's try it on, baby. This has made me laugh a lot. I've been literally standing in the mirror laughing at myself because it is so pretty and I absolutely adore it. But I just feel like fish. <laughs> I feel like one of those gurus. Oh, I don't even know. Don't get me started. I think it's maybe because I got a size 12 that the top bit is that loose on me. Shorts fit nicely. I feel like the top half just isn't a vibe. I can't put my finger on what it is that I don't like about it. I'm really gutted. Uh, it, it's not even the fact that I don't like the, the, the print. Oh, just don't know what it is. I think it's literally just the top half. This next co-ord set that I bought. This comes together. I picked it up in a size large. I think it's because it was the only size there again. This is a black knitted halter neck top. And then it comes with a skirt that is long. I don't wear long skirts. I don't wear midi skirts. But it's got a slit to the side and then ties. So you can tie them to your satisfaction. I thought all black outfit, black Doc Martens, a black Fadira hat. Fad... Fad... Fadira? Fadira? What are they called? Uh, help me out. This is very, very see-through. I do really like the shape and everything of this. So this is the top. I think this would look lovely on holidays. Obviously, you could wear like bikini underneath. And then I have just left them how they were. I do obviously wish they had a smaller size because it is a bit baggy for me. But the skirt is fine. I like the fact that the skirt goes all the way down to the floor. I'm hoping that they bring these back in stock and I can get a small Okay, stock. just quickly, the dress is exactly the same pattern as the two tops that I bought, but it's got a halter neck and then it is cut out to the back, so it looks, it gives the illusion that it's a top and a skirt from the back. But then it's got this ring detail in the middle and then the skirt. I thought this was really funky. I did forget to say what size I bought, so I bought a size 12. This dress is really nice on. It is a bit loose, I like the detail, and it is very comfortable, sil silky. I do feel like Boohoo have really pulled out, out the bag this year for festival stuff. This, it, all this stuff was under the festival section. I'm gonna show you my next outfit that I purchased. This is another jean outfit. These are jeans that I would never even dream of buying. But I am chucking myself out there in this video, so let's hope that these fit me. Picked up a size 14. These are very, like, completely not me. They are called the Patchwork Denim Flare Jean with Chains. With Chains. So it's black and white. Patchwork. They've got the cutout on the hips with some chains. And I saw these on the website and I fell completely in love with them. They are flared at the bottom. These would, again, would look so nice with some boots. And then I picked up the matching top, which I, if I remember rightly, I bought in a size 14, yeah, because it was the only one they had. How cute is that? I have also got eyelets. Are they called eyelets? at the back and it's got a stretchy material as well so i love this i really cannot wait to put this on i hope the jeans fit nice and let's get it on bitches this outfit is too cool for me it is too cool for me oh 
Oh my gosh. It's come off, but I don't understand how because it's not actually broken. These are size 14. They are very baggy. They are tight on the tops of my legs. They're tight towards here on my legs, which literally is my knee. So there's nothing much I can do with that. I can't believe that's just come off. The stitching there, that little hoop there, hasn't actually broken, but that sucks. I think these are really nice. So something I, I wouldn't normally pick out. These are cool. They are very cool. They're a nice line. I just don't know if I'd wear this. It looks so cool. The top feels like denim. The jeans feel very cheap, very thin material. I do quite like these open side bits. I like the whole idea of the outfit. Final items. This is so, so cute. It's so cool, funky, and I hope it's in a lovely material that it fits. It's a three piece set. They did this in two different colours. I've got the orange colour. I'll pop up on the screen the other colour, which was a green. You know me, you know I love green. I feel like this a video, I have stepped away from the green. I got this in a large. It's a shirt. Oh, how nice. Model wore the shirt open with like just plain white top and underneath. I'm going to do exactly the same. And then it comes with a headscarf. Cute. And then some shorts. And I love, they, they're they large. What the fuck? Okay, I've got this on. I am extremely disappointed. I'm not going to lie to anyone because the shorts are just horrendous. And for a size large, I'm just not here for the crap quality. I love shorts to be like very oversized. Cute. Ignore the top because I probably would just wear a plain top because there's so much going on in the shirt. The shirt's nice. I do feel like I'm kind of wearing pyjamas, but I love it. That it all matches, but then we get to the shorts. These are a large. I have a raging camel sword right now. And like, I'm so sorry they had to see that because I didn't even want to see that. Like, I'm just, I just don't understand how they can just put these things out. Like, how nice would it be if they were just big? <sighs> I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it. I love this headscarf though. These are large, which if you looked at the size guide, I think a large is probably like 14 to 16. I'm not a 14 to 16. I do buy certain things in size 14 for reasons, but I do like my clothes to be oversized. I'm really happy with this haul. I do feel like this haul has been very successful. There's a lot of festival outfits there that I would keep i would put in my festival backpack and i'd be going it's a bit shit that the shorts are a bit too small um i do find the quality of boohoo is exactly the same as everywhere else it's fast fashion so it's hit or miss so same with the sizing there's a lot of things in there that are probably cheap i think before when i've ordered on boohoo i've hated everything i used to love boohoo when i was in school but i've always said since growing up that i find boohoo very cheap i find it the, the quality's always been awful for me and then i see other people wearing boot stuff and i'm like oh my god that's really nice where's it from they're like boohoo just redirected my whole thought process behind boohoo and I will be looking on there a lot more often i hope everyone has enjoyed this video i hope it's given you some inspiration for future festivals that you've booked or that you want to go to. I'm sorry that you had to see my Raging Camel tour and my bruises. And if you did see the ceiling, someone basically came through the Arctic into my bedroom the other day. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you got this far, Jesus Christ, darling. I love ya. Do you know what I mean? I will see you next week for a new video. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe.